Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we are going to show you how to use audio tracks. First we're going to show you how to use it strictly in the software, then in the second half of the video we're going to show you how to use it on your controller. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, if you look at the screen right now, I'm at the regular grid view. This is a neutral view. This is the one that pops up as soon as you open the software. To open audio tracks, all you have to do is something really simple. Follow the mouse. I'm going to go to from MIDI to audio. Boom. So that was at the top left of my screen, right? Now from there, all I have to do is go down to my track click this button right here on the track to arm it and for good measure I'm gonna check my inputs and outputs I'm using my preamp to record everything so my inputs and my outputs should be set to that preamp so that the audio can come through on the software clearly let's go ahead and make sure that's set so if you're on a Mac all you have to do is press command comma to go to your preferences all right, notice I'm on the built-in inputs and outputs. Let's change that. All right, cool. And if you notice, the green bar next to the test logo is moving as well, too, to let you know that we're getting signal. All right. And I'm snapping my fingers, so if you look at the bottom of the track, if you look at the meter on the left at the bottom, it lets you know it's receiving audio. So, we have the track armed, we have our inputs and outputs set, let's go ahead and record our first vocal in MPC Studio 2.0. We're going to go up to the top right. We're going to press that and press play. Test, test, one, two, one, two. Test, test, one, two, one, three. Now, notice that it made the recording and it actually made a stereo recording. Test, test, one, two, one, two. Test, test, one, two, one, three. And just in case you don't know, when you record vocals, they're generally supposed to be in mono. So that was my mistake. But so you know what to do in the future when you're arming your tracks, let's go ahead and switch our inputs from one and two to just one because it's a mono track. All right, so if you see where my mouse is at, where I'm clicking, you can either do stereo outputs one and two, or you can go down to mono. All right, and now we're at input one. So let's say we have that recording here, but I want to overdub it. Right next to the record button is overdub, and right next to overdub is punch in. We go to overdub, I'm gonna bring it back, press play. And now I'm overdubbing what I already recorded. So now I'm gonna create a new audio recording by doing that. Press play. And now I'm overdubbing what I already recorded. So now I'm gonna create a new audio recording by doing that. All right, and that's how you record audio tracks in MPC Studio 2.0. After you're done with your audio tracks, you can switch back to the MIDI view if you want and go ahead and fool around with the MIDI tracks. Boom. Or if you want to go back to your audio track, simply switch to audio again. And of course, when you're ready to mix and clean it up and everything, you'll have to go to the track mixer, program mixer, all that good jazz that will go in in a later video. So this is part one showing you how to record an audio track in MPC Studio 2.0. We're going to show you how to do it in the controller next, either at the end of this video or in another video. Stay tuned and be surprised. Drum Machine Addict signing out. Peace.